Alright viewers, well today is Wednesday, June, God only knows, <laughs> it's pretty hard to keep track of uh, dates and stuff here, so today I am doing the opposite side of the homeless game, since I had such bad luck with the tent situation, they always kept me trapped there, I was trapped at the tent, I couldn't leave, every time I tried to leave, Someone would come and steal my things, or the DPW would come and take my things. And I had one tent up here on Willow Street. Ta da! That corner up there is up the street. And um, I left it there and I went to go visit a friend down on 16th and Mission, or not 16th and Mission, 16th Vitero. There's a whole tent city down there. A um, whole lot of people down there, homeless. I've never seen services go like this. It's been really, really bad. So I left my things there. I just bought a bicycle and uh, a tent and I couldn't bring the bicycle to get this motel room because I had some money in the purse and so I had to splurge and get a motel room for the couple of days. A friend. Um, anyways, I get back up here. It's like four days later to where I left my tent. It's gone. Yeah, it's, I don't know. I'm still trying to track down the person that's supposedly supposed to be watching it and apparently the police came by it. And, um, I'm not sure if the police have it, or if somebody uh, came and took it, who knows. Anyways, and uh, I have to leave the bicycle down where I was staying at on 16th Street. And somebody's uh, managed to take off with the bicycle since then. So here's the other side of it. Here's the other fun homeless game that we get to play. Well, if you are willing to endure it, you can make money and get a hotel room. I got tired of playing that game, that's why I was trying to tink game, but uh, I don't, it really, really pisses me off to have stuff stolen from me. Like I said, it's a code of honor thing. In San Francisco used to have a code of honor. People used to respect other people's things, but I guess everybody's so desperate, so desperate for money and a place to stay that they just steal from anybody, anywhere, even from poor people. This makes no sense to me, but uh, I mean, poor people are suffering enough as it is. And just because you're homeless doesn't give you the right to just tromp all over anybody and everybody. It uh, brings down everybody and brings down uh, our reputation as homeless people. If you want to have respect and be treated with respect, you have to treat others with respect. It starts with treating each other with respect. Um, so, anyways, um, I got a little fun thing. I, I did manage to invest into a battery pack. And what I did is I have a little sign right now. So you can see it. Here's my sign. Charge your cell phone. Wow. That music sounds awful. What is that? What is that? What is that? Yo, what's that music? Hey! What is it? What is it? I love it. Bring it, bring it, bring it around. Come on, see me. I love it. Oh, it's awesome. I love it. Have a sky. Okay, uh, anyway, I discovered um, uh, witch house music. And uh, I just got a little taste of it. It is fantastic. Not that good. Th that is really good stuff there. I gotta have me some more of that. Travis Scott, must remember that. Um, add it to my 100 plus, 100, 190 plus playlist that I have on there. I really need to go through this playlist and delete some of them, obviously. So, all my stuff is over there at the um, hotel that I was staying at. It's a really nice hotel. I'm not going to reveal which one it was because um, it's a really nice hotel and I don't want anybody to bring it down and make them start charging the deposit. First place I found it. It's a required deposit. Oh my god, it's like a miracle. I, I, it's so hard to find a place that isn't charging $250 a night for a deposit. You know how difficult that is to come up with? Anyway, let um, me see, is there anything else? Um, oh yeah, so I have this battery pack now. People can charge their cell phones. And, um, and hopefully I can make a little bit of money with this. It was an investment, and it's also very important to me to have working cell phones, and especially working um, Bluetooth speaker, which is my shoulder here. <laughs> and um, so that's it, my music. If I don't have my music, it just drives me stir crazy. If nothing else, I, I gotta have music. Hi. And cute guys, cute guys. Oh, I love the city. <laughs> anyway, um, so let's see how this works out. Um, hopefully I can come up with enough money for the hotel yeah. for the night, which is what I used to pay for an entire month's rent just about at one of the places I used to live at on Section 8. I really need my Section 8 back. If, um, I need a lawyer probably to get my Section 8 back. It was really taken away in a very, very bad way by a very corrupt city. 
Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Um, yeah, I just had a little vacation for a while. It was nice having a place where I could get cleaned up and lay down and sort through my things. And now I get too much things again. Way too much things. I don't even know. I, I didn't show up with that much stuff. Didn't even have room for the bicycle though when we got here. So the bicycle's gone. What a difference that would have made just to have my bicycle just for even one day. I paid for the bicycle and it's gone. So with a yeah, bicycle one day, I'd be able to work. I have signed up with all these agencies, the Caviar and uh, several other agencies to be able to start working because I don't have any way to get around without taking all my stuff with me. It's very frustrating. Soon though, it's gonna happen soon. I'm gonna make mountains move here. Um, I'm also gonna start a GoFundMe page, so if anybody wants to contribute, please do so. Uh, you can also just direct message me with any type of donations. I can give you a 501c3 tax exempt uh, receipt for anything that is donated. Oh, you get that hot ride to turn around? <laughs> yep, yep. And, um, and uh, we also have our website. I, let me see. I haven't even told anybody. Yeah, our family has a nonprofit. It's called the Joy of Learning Center. Joyoflearningcenters.org. If you want to check out a little bit more about our family, our efforts to uh, improve the world. So um, that's all for now, and I'll check back in with you later and let you know how things go. Okay, bye.